Hey guys, welcome to my week one battle again in the DDL or the Desvelado Draft League. I am Timothy aka FCUFAN21 and today I will taking on Santorini Camerupts coached by Aurora Draco. Um, well, first looking at his team, he has a Iron Valiant, a Celestila, he has Great Tusk, he has Grimmsnarl, he has Dragulji, Slowbro, uh, Superior, Blessed Cephalon, Mega Camerupt, and a Masquerade. Mega Camerupt is also quite nice because that's his uh, the Pokemon in his team logo, so nice draft there. Um, Looking at his team, um, his Iron Valiant is the fastest Mon with 116 speed. Um, yeah, you can see some things already filled in. I used it for uh, my team builder. Um, Iron Valiant is his fastest Mon with 364 uh, max speed. He has the Quirk Drive ability, has some nice... Uh, both physical and special moves he can use um, because yeah 130 or 120 it still hits like a truck uh, nice typing in fairy fighting Celestila is just like gen 7 a uh, problem and a half to prep for to be honest with very even stats with only 61 in speed so it's not very fast but still um, can set up with uh, automatize, autotom, autom automize. Yeah, it's a tongue twist for me, honestly. Um, can set up iron defense, lead seed, toxic, and has both physical and special moves. So I'm not really sure what he's gonna bring there. Um, Great Tusk is one of the two, three great Dunfin Pokemon for setting up rocks, removes, uh, yeah, removing horror rocks, um, very uh, physical, so frill on the special side there, not all that great speed to be honest, uh, Grimmsnarl, we, uh, if you follow me you all know what uh, Grimmsnarl can do with his prankster ability, um, it's interesting to have it uh, playing against me for a change, so um, curious how that will be going. Um, fifth Mount Regulgi, um a great spadef wall with uh, adaptability can hit uh, poison and dragon type moves um, that are uh, actually doing instead of step damage it will do super effective damage so something to keep in mind. Uh, Slowbro, a Mon we use in our Lazy Mon League. Um, great physical defense, special defense is somewhat iffy, but um, uh, not a nice physical wall nonetheless. Uh, superior with contrary, um, not all that fair attacking, but with Leaf Storm setup, it can uh, gradually become uh, some problem if I don't do something about it. Um, Bliss Cephalon. A great fear special attacker, 107 speed is not something to laugh at and well just look at uh, those that special attack stat. Mind blown is his uh, signature move which also does 50% damage to himself so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, Mega Camerupt is a slow but very uh, specially attacking, especially strong Pokemon. 70 base HP and 100 and 105 speed uh, defenses are not that great. And last but not least, Flying Bug type Masquerade has Intimidate or a Nerf, a decent special attack user. 80 speed is not all that impressive, but will probably, if he brings it, be used to set up the sticky webs. So that's uh, my opponent's team. Let's look at my team. Um, first of all, Mega Charizard Y. Um, yeah, I gave it solar power as a Charizard, but will have broad draft when he Mega Evolves. Max special attack, max speed, 
with the last four points in sp his special defense and with a timid nature. Um, well, this one is mostly here to break my opponent's uh, team down and set up the sun for my other Pokemon. Um, Solar Beam, Weather Ball, Air Slash, Dragon Pulse. Why Weather Ball? Because Weather Ball is actually stronger in, under sunlight than a flamethrower. And no, I'm not gonna use fly, Fire Blast or something. Um, yeah, I'm not dealing with that low accuracy stats for just 10 more points. So yeah. Um, with this coverage, um, I am pre able to hit everything pretty hard. Uh, the Air Slash for the Iron Valiant, uh, Fire Weather Ball for the Celesteela, Solar Beam, um, probably be going for Weather Ball against the Grimmsnarl because I don't really have anything for that one. Uh, Dragon Pulse, uh, Solar Beam, uh, oh damn that's my back. Um, the weather, fire weather ball for superior, um, probably weather ball for uh, the Blacephalon and for the Mega Camera. I have Solar Beam and weather ball for the Masquerade. Next up is something I wanted to bring because uh, I want to keep Charizard as safe as possible, and that's Water Absorb Jellicent. Um, mainly because, um, yeah, it can keep uh, hazards off my side. It can uh, stop rapid spin if I set up hazards. Yeah, and mainly there for uh, water absorb. So my, the water type moves won't uh, be effective against my Mega Charizard. Scold the Dazzling Gleam and Strength Sap uh, to lower my opponent's attack while also boosting its uh, or regaining some health. And Destiny Bond as a um, Hill Mary so I can uh, take some Pokemon down with me when uh, Jellicent is probably going down. Um, almost max HP. I dropped 4 uh, EV so it won't be max. Uh, so I won't be maxing it out at 404 and toxic, uh, so that's mostly for toxic damage, max special attack and the final points in special defense. Um, talking about special defense, Hoopa, 301, uh, will his Spadef be going with an Assault Fest, Assault Fest gives 1.5 times this Spadef. That means Hoopa now has a Spades stat of 450. Also, almost max special attack, 395, and I maxed out its HP at 364. Um, this set with Terra Dark can do a lot of work against his special Pokemon. Um, and with special Pokemon, I mainly think about Celesteela, uh, Dragology, Superior, uh, Slowbro, Blacephalon and Mega Camerupt. Because Hoopa can tank a lot of hits. Uh, Thunderbolt, uh, both Psychic and Hyperspace Hall, with Hyperspace Hall being there for when I find out something has protected. And Dark Pulse as a Terra Step. Um, like I said, mainly here to block any special hits coming my way. Um, I think it can also take on a special form of Iron Valiant, so have to look out for that if I can use it there. Um, my fourth mon will be Expert Belt Venusaur with Chlorophyll. I gave it exactly enough speed to a one, um, just uh, without sun to be. Uh, if I'm being sped, uh, speed crept, just to be a little bit above that. Um, Max special attack, most in HP and a little bit in spadef. Um, why not go full speed? Because I intend to use Venusaur mainly under sun. So max speed won't make, make um, much sense because with double the speed I 
already outspeed anything uh, in this form. So a bit more bulk on him so he can live anything uh, if he doesn't kill anything I was I, I got so uh, solar beam sludge bomb earth power and weatherball fire of course um, looking at his team I think Venusaur can hit almost if not everything for super effective damage with a poison type sludge bomb fire type uh, in weather ball uh, solar beam will do super effective damage to great tusk uh, again uh, the sludge bomb uh, earth power especially for dragology uh, the solar beam weather ball for uh, the superior and earth power for blacephalon and for the camera ups and lastly uh, via fire the weather ball for the uh, miscarine so with expert belt a super effective hit does do 1.2 times more damage which is very nice um electros will be my main uh support mon i gave it rocky helmet max hp max attack knockoff uh, and super fang are very much support attacking uh, options knockoff will uh, take off any uh item my opponent has super fang will half their H current hp so if they're at a hundred percent they go down to 50 percent if they have 60 percent they go down to 30 percent and etc you turn to go out and thunder punch for some stab damage yeah nothing much to say there he's just there for support and lastly is eject back turtonator max hp max special attack and the last four go into his pedef with a modest nature to deal out even more damage um eject pack is for when draco meteor, meteor hits um eject pack will make sure turtonator can switch out and i can choose which pokemon i switch into it so i do a lot of damage um if I don't kill, I can switch into the right Pokemon to uh, in the end get the kill. Um, Turtonator is mainly my rapid spinner, so um, yeah, when hazards hit the field, Turtonator is there to uh, wipe them away. Flamethrower for stab damage, and I thought YOLO, let's go for explosion for Turtonator. Just because I can. And even though I made it minus HP, 200, uh, minus attack, 250 pay, base power will make, um, will dent anything really so. Shell armor as his, uh, well, mandatory ability so it can be critted, which is nice. Um, yeah, that's the team. Um, only thing left for me to say is uh, see you at the battle and up the Vivalance. Okay guys, as you can see, Aurora Drago has, has sent me an invite. Um, so let's go for week one of the DDL. Um, as you can see, um, I changed one thing up for this game. I brought my uh, Zamazenta instead of Turtonator because I did not like the Turtonator set. And Zamazenta was a bit better than I first expected it to be. But now, um, what do we start with? Um, I think I start with Blaze and get my Mega off. He brings his Mega. He brings Great Tusk. Great Tusk will probably be his biggest. Um, wait, I think I go for Flashlight here. Good luck, have fun in the chat, because that's what I wish all my uh, opponents to have a good time just like me. And well, I start off with Electros, I can go for knockoffs, um, Electros doesn't have a real weakness because of Levitate, so that's a nice way to start. Um, I can go for U-turn, I can go to anything I like and he starts off with his Lendo T Great Tusk. <laughs> nice name by the way. So um, I don't 
see a uh, booster energy pop, which is interesting. Um, do I go immediately for Super Fang, or do I go for Knock Off? Let's go for Knock Off. And let's see what Great Tusk is willing to do to me. I think the Tusk may be the hardest man for me to get rid of outside Sun. So I think getting rid of his uh, item will be great. I will, yes, definitely be slower. He sets up rocks um, and he has no leftovers. I don't have a... Now I remember why I brought Turtonator. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but that doesn't matter. Right now we have to play with what we got. I go for Super Fang. Chips uh, bring something down to half. And I don't think he really has something to hit me with. I don't mind playing without timer, but let's hope he won't take all day. <laughs> uh, Grimmsnarl. And that one is chipped down quite a bit. Quite a bit. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for screens right now. Yeah, there we go. So I knock off his light clay. Um, and I switch into my good boy, I think. No, that's not what I want. I think. And. Oh, that's a good look first. And the Calx. I think Rupa will be the. Best switch into a green snow. Next set, max HP. That's what percent percentage? Thirty-eight percent. Thirty-eight. Thunderbolts. Oh wait, that's without light screen. Yeah, I'm not doing anything to that guy. Um, Mr. Pringles, perhaps. Jealous sight. With screens. 27 max, so that's a guaranteed 2 hit. But Crimsnarl can hit back with, let's say, a crunch, which will do ooh, way too much. Um, so, 1 to 40. I think I go for Sprout here. And I go for Sludge Bomb. That will be super effective. Screens will be up for 4 more turns. Reflect for 6. Camera up, of course. Sludge Bomb will do not much. But I do get a Poison. That's great. Um, he will probably go for his Mega and I will go to Mr. Pringles. What was his Mega's ability by the way? I'm going to look that one. Oh, I want to look that one up but I lost. Ooh, gets the crit. I will outspeed. Um, um, <laughs> he's sorry for he's sorry for that, but um, let's see. Do I go for scold and? I think I will 
double because he'll be mad to keep in his mega camera up and his best switch in is either the Prince Snow or the Shilo Bro. So I'll double. I think uh, because he will switch probably switch out. Uh, if he goes for Slow Bro, I can chip it down with either Knockoff or a Super Fang. And if I really want to, a uh, Thunder Punch. And I get the prediction right. So he will probably switch this one out as well. Because this is not a very favorable matchup for him. Will he? And he will likely go into his Grimmsnarl because the light skin will wear, uh, wear off. And with 38%, I can surely. He will not switch out, okay. And he's Rocky Helmet. Good to know, good to know. Um, Oopa. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. A trick room. Let's see. Hoopa. If you like it against a slow grow. But it's fully fist death. But Thunderbolt is still the best option. What can he do? Um, what do I lose if I Terra Dark here? Because if I go for, for Dark, it's a. It's a great chance for a two shot. But I can't tear a Venusaur after I do so, so... Um, I'm going to do it. He goes into Grimmsnarl. And that's Knockout! Great! Hoopa gets the first kill of the season in the DDL. But he has a safe switch into Camelot. He still does not know I am a V, so he will probably want to make use of the trick room. Uh, let's see, camera up, mega trick room attacker. Nah, really? Oh wait, that's 50. Camera up. Mega Wingset. Uh, Won't be doing much, but I think I can tank a hit from him. 42%. Hoopa, you absolute beast. Oh, there we go. Hoopa gets a second. And a big threat is gone with his camera mega camera up. On the trick room, he would have been real bad. I reckon he will go for Lando T now but if it's max speed it will outspeed Hoopa only slow bro will underspeed Hoopa and Ooh. now I think the trick room is working against him that's great because everything on the steam is quite slower than Hoopa because I'm running max HP and max uh, special attack so, um, <laughs> well, welcome Porygon the bot. Let's see, will he reverse trick room or Will he go for an attack with Slowbro? Because Slowbro is the only thing. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you guys can read along with me, so... <laughs> he still only knows two of my moves, Thunderbolt and Psychic. Um, well, he does know I have Thunderbolt, but he still has a turn of trick move. So no matter what, um, if he's switching Great Tusks, I underspeed Great Tusks, so I outspeed in Trick Room, and I can hit, get a massive hit off, or will stay in with a with a slow bro. Yeah, I thought that. Mm, do I predict the double switch? Really, Hoopa has done most of the work I wanted him to do. So, do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do the double pred predict? I'm gonna do it. Watch me. Now let's see. Because again, if he uh, knocks out Hoopa, uh, he did a great amount of work for me already, knocking out the Mega Camera and well, he sacked off the Grim Snarl, but still, um, no screens. So that's amazing. Charizard can go rampant as soon as Trick Room is over, and. If Hoopa goes down, Trick Room will be over. Zard will always outspeed a Lendor Theria. His Lendor T. Yes, I did. Oh, I did get the prediction right. Oh, man. This is why you predict. <laughs> oh, that feels so great. <laughs> oh, now I go for another Thunderbolt. Um, Trick Room's gone. Slow. Uh, no, I, I think it... He triples. He triple switches. Watch me. Watch him go into... He's struggling. But I do think a, a Psychic will knock out Slowbro anyway. There we go. And that's three kills for Hoopa Confined. I'm always making this an ASMR movie. <laughs> I'm just having a really good time right now with Hoopa knocking out half his team. But honestly, Hoopa did so amazing. He, this great tusk will knock him out, and there's nothing I'm going to, going to do about it because you did well, Hoopa. Um, yeah, you can take a rest now, my boy. And yes, he's no item. Let's go for Sun. And I am going for a Solar Beam. Plus Cephalon 344. Yeah. Megazord. Let the Sun out. Core Drive Speed. Uh, now he does it speed. Um, I go for Air Slash, and let's see what Valiant has to offer against my Megazord. He's outspeeding. Oh, you absolute monster! And there we go. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe let's do some calcs. A how, how do you spell clown fiesta? Uh, blaze, not a C, bless, cephalon, blank set against my Charizard. Uh, let's see. I'm doing absolute nothing against this guy. So I bring Weather Ball, I go for Weather Ball, that's the most... Uh, oh, he out probably outspeeds anyway. Sprout. Sprout in Sun will definitely outspeed and I have Perth Power. Ooh, he lives! Ooh! Oh, uh, Beast Boost. 
do I Honestly not gonna lie, kinda nervous. Plus two plus Cephalon. Oh I outspeed normally so He outspeeds? Ooh damn! Am I going to give this away? <laughs> I think I might. I don't have priority. This co is coming down. Will he hit a fire blast? He does, and he wins. Well, um, damn, did not see that coming. Uh, but I do believe this was a very entertaining game. I, like others say, what a match. I, I thought I had it too. Well, um, this is still going on, uh, up on YouTube, of course, but Scarf the Cephalon was, uh, oh, it's Scarf, that, well, well, um, there you have it, a one and loss on my first DDL game. He played poorly around Hoopa, I played poorly on against Blacephalon and um, well he did less poorly with Blacephalon with Blacephalon and I did poorly with my Hoopa so But um, I'm gonna end it right here. Um, next week not a chance, not a battle and let's hope another win for this time. Uh, I've been Timothy aka FCFan21 and all I've got left to say is up the Blacephalons. Uh,